Powdery mildew and downy mildew may share a similar name, but the two pathogens causing these diseases are very different. Powdery mildew appears as an ash gray white fungal growth on a plant's surface. It's typically found on the upper side of leaves, but can also grow on the undersides of leaves and on berries. Downy mildew appears as yellowish or chlorotic spots on the upper sides of leaves, with white, fluffy sporulation on the undersides of leaves, corresponding with the chlorotic areas on top. White sporulation from downy mildew could also form on infected grape bunches, shoots, and stems after warm, humid nights. These infected tissues eventually become necrotic and die. Powdery mildew harms plants and vines by leaching water and nutrients from the plant's surface and impairing photosynthesis. Heavy infection of the leaves may limit fruit maturity, which could ultimately reduce wine quality potential if in large amounts. Powdery mildew will spread to new growth if left untreated. Downy mildew is more aggressive than powdery mildew. Downy mildew invades deep into plant tissues to get nutrients, unlike powdery mildew, which remains on plant surfaces. Tissues infected by downy mildew will turn brown and die, often resulting in necrotic leaf tissues, defoliation, and shriveling berries that will fall off. Both diseases need a rainfall period to initiate their primary cycles, but downy mildew needs additional wetting periods in order to sustain secondary cycles that spread and infect more tissues. Conversely, powdery mildew secondary cycles will continue to infect plants throughout the summer, even in the absence of rainfall. Grapevine leaf tissues are susceptible to powdery and downy for practically the entire growing season. However, grape clusters are primarily susceptible to both diseases from bloom through berry touch. Commercially, sulfur is often used to control powdery mildew throughout the entire season, with some synthetic chemistries mixed in during the critical period for cluster protection. On the other hand, manzate is often used to control downy mildew until pea-sized berries set. Then, a copper or phosphoric acid product is used thereafter. As with powdery mildew management, synthetic chemistries are often used during the critical period for cluster protection.